Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, it has been a long time, but I'm back. I am excited to bring this video to you guys today. If you don't know me, my name is Terry. I would love to have you as a part of my crew. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you are aware every time I upload a new video. So, y'all, as you can see by the title, I am going to be doing my first impression and review of Juvia's Play. pumped about this guys the first day that it dropped trust me I was on Juvia's Place it's website and I had everything filled in my car I was so excited it took me a while to find my shade it is kind of hard um, finding your shade blindly but I did not want to wait for it to hit the stores I wanted these bad boys right away so that I can review them for you guys and you can kind of get a feel of the coverage and how it looks and everything so I'm excited to do so so without further ado I'm just going to jump right in and I'm going to do my brows first so I'll be back <laughs> Okay, so now I'm back, guys, and we are just going to jump into the Sylvia's Place Foundation. Okay, guys, so first I'm going to go in with this Pixie Rose Tonic Nourishing Toner. I'm just going to apply that all over my face using a cotton round. Now I'm going in with the Hyaluronic Acid Serum by Spring Valley. Now I'm going in with this e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream. It's just going to brighten up my under eyes. I do have a bit of dark circles. So I'm just applying that right here. I'm going to take the two middle fingers and we're going to just gently massage it in. Then I'm going to take the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion and just moisturize that, massage that into the face. Okay, y'all, so now we are going in with the Juvia's Place. It's called the I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. And as you can see, I have never opened it. It still has the little silver <laughs> tab. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. And let's see what this consistency looks like. Uh-oh. Okay. That's pretty nice. So now I'm going to take some dabs and I'm going to apply it onto my face. And I'm not going to do too much. And then I'm going to take my Real Techniques Instapop face brush and I'm going to just tap it in. Y'all look at that. Look at that coverage. I'm loving this already, y'all. I am loving this. I'm here for it. I'm just tapping this in, y'all. I love this brush. For me, it gives like an airbrush feel. Thank you. 
Okay, guys, I forgot to tell you guys what shade it was. I'm still kind of blending it out, but this is the color 410 Nairobi. It took me a while to find my shade. I actually went by, I was looking at reviews, and you guys know I love Tiffany Violet, and we wear the same foundation in Fenty and, um, Maybelline. So I was like, okay, well, let me just try the Nairobi. And I kind of went back and forth in between Somalia, Havana, and uh, Nairobi. And I ended up just going with the Nairobi. I was like, okay, since we wear the same foundations, let me just try this one. And then if it doesn't match, we'll just go back to the drawing board. But this is actually looking good. I am loving this coverage. I'm loving it, y'all. Here for it. Okay, y'all, look at this. Let's just get into this skin. We can just walk right out the door right now. Let's just get into this. Uh, so now we're gonna go in with our concealers. The concealers that I chose were the Magic Concealer number seven and the Magic Concealer number 14. If you guys didn't know, the higher numbers are the lighter colors and the uh, lower numbers are the darker colors. So they kind of went backwards. I actually like that effect. It's like, okay, let's kind of switch it up. The darker colors come first and then you get down to the lighter colors. So I like the way they switch it up and they're really catering to the melanin community. So, I'm going to go in first with this 14. This is the shade of it. And so I'm just going to apply that. It's a pretty big um, applicator, and I like that. So I'm just going to apply that right underneath the eyes. Down the bridge of my nose. A little dot on my forehead. around my cupid's bow and the top of my lip and right underneath my lip. So we're gonna go right in and blend those in. I actually like to tap out my concealer with a brush. So I'm going in with this e.l.f. foundation brush and I'm going to just tap it out. Oh my God, y'all, it is blending so well. Look at that. Mm. Y'all, I am here for this. And y'all, as you can see, I'm just tapping it in. And this kind of works good for me. I used to use my blender, my beauty blender. Then I started using this. And I actually really like it. Okay, y'all, now going in with this number seven, which is the darker contouring shade, I am going to apply that. I'm not gonna put too much. If I need more, I'll come back to it. I'm gonna blend this out with my MUA Professional Multi-Purpose Brush. And I'm just going to swipe up. Okay, y'all, so I kinda went a little overboard when just a disclaimer, when you're applying this, apply it very lightly. I'm gonna go back and cut this again to try to get it to where it needs to be. But first. Okay, so now I'm gonna blend out this nose contour with a blending eye brush from Morphe, I'm sorry, from Elf. <laughs> and more. It is much mucho. 
Oh crap. Okay, it's so loud. Okay, we're just going to continue to blend this out. Bruh. <laughs> Y'all really don't have to use much product, okay? When you put this on here, like literally dab, because I put a little bit too much, but I'm going to go through and blend it out and get it where we need to be. Right now it is not. So we're just going to keep on blending, and then I'm going to go back in with the highlight. Okay, y'all. <laughs> so now that we got that fixed, let's go ahead and go in with the Fenty Pro Filter Setting Powder in the color Banana. And I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush. It's the square foundation brush to apply it. And we're going to set underneath this eye when you put your setting powder on make sure you look down so you don't set those creases honey Okay, y'all, so now that we have that set, um, it's looking good to me. This may be a little too bright, but we're going to keep going, and we're going to see how it turns out. So now I'm just going to dive in, and we're going to do a little some, something simple on the eyes just to complete the look. But um, I'm going to be using the Warrior's Place palette. And y'all, it is so pretty. I love, 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 love it. Um... This is my first time using it, but I swatched it in the store, and y'all, it's bomb, okay? So this is the palette. Okay, first I'm going to prime my eyelid. Yeah. And I'm using the e.l.f. primer. Tap that in with my fingers. And I'm going to go into this Mino right here. And we're going right into the crease. Tap a little bit off. And we're going to go right into the crease. Okay, now I'm going into this Kano, and we're going to use that as a transition color with the Morphe M506 brush. Applying it right on top of where we just placed the brown, the dark brown. you won't be able to like it's not a big it's a difference but it's not a huge difference it's close, kind of close to my skin color but not super close okay going back in with that morphe brush that we use for the brown i'm just going to take what's on it and we're going to just blend that out some more and kind of deepen that crease, but I don't want to add any more product.
Okay, let's put a little bit of sparkle on those lids. I'm going to, hmm, which color, y'all? I think I'm going to do, let's do this bakwa. Bakwa right here. It's like a bright yellow gold, but it's not like too yellow. You guys can see it. I'm going to go over the lid with that. Ooh, yes. Uh, yes, color. Yo, oh, look at that. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, going back into that color Mino, I'm going to smoke it out. Smoke out the outer corners. Okay, now we're gonna get back into this face. I'm going to go pop on some liner and some lashes and then I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so now that I have my lashes and stuff on, I'm going to use this Revlon Photo Ready setting powder. Well, it's a finishing powder in the color Translucent. And we're just going to pop this all over the rest of our face to set. Okay, let's make sure we get that good old set done right. We're going to use the Revolution Sport Fix Setting Spray. Woo! <laughs> okay, now for our lips, I'm going in with this brown Wet n Wild pencil, and we're going to line. Now going in with this Fenty Gloss Balm in the color Fenty Glow. Okay y'all, now the best for last, I'm going in with the Juvia's Place, the Nubian in the color Nefertiti. This is the, um, loose highlighter and we are going to make this look pop and glow honey using the elf angle blush brush i'm going to pop it up with this look mm -hmm. yes uh Check that glow, y'all. Check the glow. Check the glow, honey. Yes. Yes! I'm loving it. Okay, using the Morphe M506 brush, I'm doing the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my brow bone, and the inner corners of my eyes. Y'all, I love an exaggerated glow on my nose. Yes, sir. Okay, y'all, this is the final look. Let your girl go freshen up a bit, and then I'll be right back with my final review. Oh, 
Okay guys, so that is it. Overall, y'all, I love this foundation. The coverage is awesome. The concealers, girl, oh my God, they add such a glow back into the foundation. Even though the foundation is matte, it is so awesome. Y'all, it was easy to blend. And when I say easy to blend, when I had that little mishap with my contour on my nose, going back in with that highlighter was so easy to fix. And I mean, it literally covered that contour. It was no difficulty in getting that contour fixed so i really overall love this foundation y'all i love juvia's place brand anyway i have so many of their products and so guys you go ahead and check them out and you know the biggest thing for me you guys know i'm a budget queen so the biggest thing for me is the concealers are 14 dollars and the foundation is drum roll y'all drum roll 20 bucks 20 bucks that's it some of my higher end foundations run you from like 50 dollars at all so i'm super excited about that price point it's very very affordable guys just go ahead and check it out and i will see you guys later let me know what you would like to see in the comments below don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe I love you guys. Remember, Jesus loves you, and you are beautiful just the way you are. You guys have a blessed week.